Hello guys. This is gonna be there's gonna be another video on this end, but anyways guys, please take time to like subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching guys. Appreciate you. Uh, join our membership if you'd like to get a discount. And uh we plan on doing some fun things. We don't have very many members right now, it's gonna take a while. So we're at least going to get like 40 or 50 members or something, get some revenue coming so we can start giving stuff away, making it worth everybody's time. But for those that are joined and sticking with us and waiting, appreciate it. Alrighty guys, I don't know how to do this. I've made two videos about this already. I've explained, explained, explained. And every time I open my messenger, it says, how much can I deck you into this? How much can I drive this? How much can I do this? Every single time it's the same question. I made two videos already and, and I don't mean to be rude, but guys, I've explained, 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 and it's like I'm just talking to the damn wall. You know, nobody's listening. They're like, I'll make a video, make a video, tell them, send them the video, tell everybody, send them a video. And they just, they don't hear or something. I don't know if I'm not being clear or what's going on there. And like I said, I sure appreciate all of you, but I, I, you know, I, I'm burning a lot of time up explaining the same thing over and over and over. So I'm going to try this again. And, uh, First off, I'm going to say, look here, guys. If you want to dead key this 24 pin, okay? This 24 pin is 25 watts per output transistor, okay? So 25 times, I'm sorry, 24 times 25 equals 600 watts max. And that's pushing on it. I would run it about 400 if it's mine. But 600 is the max, okay? All right, guys. So that's your max key out. They said, well, what do I put in? Well, that depends on your driver, your antenna, your coax, your SWR, and your watt meter. Everybody's gonna be different. If it's 25 in here, it might be 30 at your house, it might be 15 at Joe Blows, it might be 40 at Joe Blows. So that's no guaranteed number. I can kid you close, it's no guarantee. But this, this being 600 is what this is supposed to be max. All right, if guys, if you want to buy this box, because a lot of people will see my videos, I've had other builders see them, so oh, he's full of them. Well, that's fine. That's your prerogative. But if you want to buy this box and you want to kid it, 2000 I don't care. Blow it up. But when you do, don't cry to me about it. Just send it to me. We'll put new pills in it, charge you, and fix it. Now, this, that ain't the case. Nothing like that happened to this box. Let me make that clear, because I know the gentleman that I'm fixing this box for will probably see this video and think, is he talking about me? No, sir. You're a good customer. I'm not talking about you. You're going to get in a whole other video on this box. I'll tell you what I did to it. But uh, I'm trying to explain to everybody that this just so happens what happened to be on here. And they keep asking and asking over and over and over and over. All right, guys. I mean, the answer is never going to change. It's going to be the same every time. 25 watts. So if you got a two pill, two times 25 equals 50. Now we're counting the last section of pills you use. So, you know, if you're talking about 24 or 600 out, now just because you got three more pills over here to drive it, don't matter, you just 24 times 25. The last section of pills you use. If it's a one by two, you don't count the drivers, you count the output pills only. Now I've explained this, now will 27 ounce seats hold a little more? Maybe, maybe not. I stick to the rule on my seats. I run my 64 pill, I stick to the same rule, man, I, I don't know, let's see, just out of curiosity, 64 times 25, it's got C's in it. It's 1,600, I don't key that much. I key my 64 pill about 1,000, 1,100. I've seen if you key it up about two, 2,000, 2,500, it'll drop a pill once in a while. You key it about 1,000, it runs forever. So I mean, the rule is to the max. Really be better to do a little less. My 16 pill, I like running about 200 watt carrier. I only run it at 100 into my 64. I had a guy a while ago, he said, my radio key 75, can I run it with the 16 pill? I said, no. I've got, I keep my 16 pill at 100 into 64, and that makes about 1,200 watts. So if that's doing a 64 that way, you know a 75 is going to hammer at 16. But I don't really know how else to get it across, guys. I'm fixing to quit answering it. Everybody's set up's different. So the best way to do it, it's just take your radio. I mean, man, turn your radio down, start at zero. But I mean, I've answered and answered. I'm fixing to tell them. I'm fixing to start saying, "Hey guys, just dead key the dead key the Jesus out of them. I don't care. And if they blow up on you, 
don't come crying to me because I don't want your pills anyway. So just go ahead and deck you the Jesus out of them and blow your pills up. Cost you money. I don't, I'm trying to save y'all money. I know it sound grumpy, and it is getting frustrating because I'm trying to save everybody money and nobody listens. All right. Let's say we're going to just set this two, one by two by itself. So what we would do, it's got two output transistors, two times 25, 50 watts. Not by itself, nothing else. We come up here, we turn our mic gain down on the radio. We'll set our key down to, let's see, let's just set it down to zero. And I start raising, the RF power is RF gain on this, okay? I start raising my dead key up. Raising it up. That's how I've done one above. The digital meter, it's a little bit harder because it's a little bit more touchy than a regular analog meter. It's easier to do an analog meter. Anyway, let's say 49. So this was a variable wide open, okay? Now, if you couldn't get down to 49 with the variable box, you can always use a variable to cut your drive back some more. All the variable does is just take the power out of the radio. Variable wide open. Oh, I told you to key 50 watts. It's going to be 0.07 in, 08, less than a watt. And there is a pad in that box. If it wasn't padded, it would be a lot worse than that. It would be like 0.02. But, all right, now, just because I set that one, if we're going to run this 24 pill, let's just turn it on. We're going to run this 24 pill, which I'm not even on the uh, on the big uh, I ain't even got it all hooked up to enough power supply, really. But anyway... It starts all over again. Dynamite down. Dead key all the way down. We'll come back over here. We'll turn our barrel power up. What'd I say? 24, I done forgot now. You yeah, I've got tore up over the video. 24 times 25, 600 max. So I'm too high right there. I'm gonna back it off. Too low, let's see. I'm going 544, because it is touchy. And to do that, to make this 24 pill on my setup, key 544, let's see what it takes. 13.7, 15 watts in. So 15 watts in is hitting pretty damn close. So it don't take a bunch of carry to get things going. This would probably take 20 if I, let's see, ease it up. Let's see, let's see. It's touchy. The reason why it's so touchy is because that's a three pill. Let's go 650. That's a three pill, and a three pill always makes it touchy. Like if you drive, if you got something that's got drivers in it, Going into a big box, it's always more touchy. With the two pill, a straight two pill on the radio, it's a lot smoother. But anyway, you won't lose much. So it depends on how you want to run your stuff. But guys, I'm trying to show you how to do this. Anyways, remember, I don't care how many pills it is. If it's 20 pills, 20 times 25, 500. I mean, it don't matter how many it is, 40, 50, whatever, 60. But the idea is, I like to, on these big boxes, I like to take it down another 150 lower or so, or even more. So, you know, guys, I'm trying to help you. 25 watts per output transistor. That means you forget about these three. You count the output transistors on. Okay, guys, 25 watts per output transistor. Now, that's what I recommend to save your transistors. Will they do more? Well, sure. I don't know how long, but they will. You know, I know you see some of these videos going around, these guys showing average power on their boxes when they tune them up, and all they're showing is average. They're more or less just saying, look how high I can dead key my HGs before they blow. That's all they're doing when they do when they tune the box on average. Look how high I can dead key this box before it blows. But uh, guys, 25 watts, 25 watts, 25 watts. From now on, if you're watching this video, I'll let you know. From now on, when somebody asks me that, I'm not even gonna answer, I'm gonna send you this video, and that's it. You watch the video and listen or don't alrighty guys I hope that helps you I hope that makes it clear 25 watts 25 watts per output transistor take your calculators 24 here so 16 so let's just say 16 25 times 16 400 is max I like to run mine 200 300 would be the max I really want to go so I'm already giving you a little bit and some of these builders say go ahead and run them more and they will run more 
But do you want to change pills in them or not? Let's say we run this at 800 or 1,000, we get by. Even though we're getting by for a long time, we're weakening all these transistors. And as they get weaker, you know, bad stuff will start happening in time. So, I mean, trying to help you guys. Most of us are already bolting our boxes anyway. You know, the 15 or whatever. So, you know, the decky's real important. These transistors were made for 12.5 volts, 100 watts PEP each. Swing, modulate, not decky. Swing. They was not made. In other words, this box is made to really supposed to do 2400. It's not supposed to do 5,000. We're already doubling it. So, you know, just take it easy on them, man. You be good to them, they'll be good to you. Guys, I hope this helps. 25 watts. 25 watts output. It don't matter. They say, well, how much can I put in? I don't know your radio. I don't know your meter. I don't know your setup. Start at zero and raise it up until you get your deck key. That's all I can tell you. If your radio puts out too much, you're going to have to get it turned down. Because if you turn down the box, you choke. If you try to choke down the box with the input choke, you end up choking the box down so much that you lose a little bunch of power on the box and it don't work well that way. And that does require turning the modulation up in the radio sometimes, maybe even a little surfer mod or an NPM mod or something to keep your watch up. And some people say, oh, it ain't clean. Well, I don't care. This is CB. 25 watts per output transistor. Guys, I mean, what else do you want me to say? Anybody got any comments just to get down to the bottom and comment on it? Uh, I mean, it's simple. You carry. Make sure you turn your mic in there when you set your carry because a lot of times, like right here, I'll show you. So, well, what do I do here? Oh, I turned it back down. So I'll set my carrier. I'm actually having to key this one lower because it's so sensitive. I could turn down the uh, three pill a little bit and it would help, but I don't want to. But look, if you turn the carrier up on the radio, watch this. You try to set it. It's just going to bounce and jump. So turn your, turn your mic game down when you set the carrier for a minute. 25 watts per output transistor. Now, that's my recommendations. That's not installed nowhere. There ain't no book that says that or nothing like that. And a lot of these guys, like I told you, man, I watched one builder building videos, and he only shows average. He's showing how much average he can get out of it. Well, a bird can't really read modulated AM power without PEP. Actually, nothing can besides the carrier. So when he's doing that, it's more or less just on how much can I deck you these transistors at. And that's not cool. Guys, 25 watts. Like I said, if you don't want to do it, I'm cool with that. I don't mind. Run it however you want to run it, however Joe Blow set or whatever. I'll build for you. I work for you guys. I'll do it however you want to. But when you bought transistors, I don't want to hear no crap. Remember, 1.3 SWR list. Guys, I hope this helps. This is a long video. I don't ever make videos this long. I hope this helps. And I appreciate you watching. Like I said, I'm trying to get this through everybody's head because. You know, I, I get asked this question. It's not once, guys. I get asked this question five, ten times a day. How much can I put into something? How much can I drive with? I mean, it's every day, five and ten times. So, maybe this is it, guys. I sure appreciate you. Please take time to like, subscribe to our YouTube channel if you're not already. Um, feel free to join our membership. Like I said, we, got, we ain't got very many members yet, so we ain't really doing nothing besides giving the discounts for joining. But, uh, on the price and stuff, but later we will do some cool stuff. So I sure appreciate you guys. Thank you a bunch. Please like, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Take time to join our membership. Y'all take care. 25 bucks. Your friend Jen, 018 Beavis, Donkey Stomper. Catch you later. Bye bye.